Kyoko and I met first time. Her son and my daughter were in band together, and he asked her for a ride because his mother was in the hospital. She was here alone, so I went to see her, and we became fast friends. She said, well, come with me to my appointment. And at that place, they talked about the SPARK program. I would have never asked for help. That's just not my personality. But Chioko realized that I was going to need help going forward. They would go to someone's house and have lunch. And then they would have like a tea party here and they would help cook and, and different things. And so she got to visit with people during the day when I was at work. There were people who were on a regular routine of saying, okay, I'll take you to the doctor on Wednesday. I'm always available on that day. Ones who would go and transport her from one appointment to the next. The group just stepped right in and, and helped out. SPARK is the supportive and palliative advocacy resource for the community. We provide information and best practices so that groups who want to provide support to breast cancer patients will do so in a way that allows them to do what they love to do when they're available to do it in a coordinated way with that built-in support system helping each other out through the process. I think you need a support team just to get through the day, much less going through this larger than life, surreal experience that cancer can be. I had friends who went with me to doctor's appointments. I had friends come over and cook for me and act like they were at a cocktail party. They are a ridiculous army of estrogen. They swept me up and just took exquisite care of me. There are people that want to help, they don't know how to help, and a SPARK team teaches them how to really help. I cannot imagine going through that without the support group. It would have been very difficult. Without that support group, I don't know how it would have got by. People who are going through something like breast cancer oftentimes have trouble reaching out for that practical emotional and spiritual support. We want to make that process easy. We want to make it easy for someone who needs support to get that support, and that's why we exist. The community that surrounded her were just willing and able and, and wanted to help. We were just so grateful for being a part of that.